Everybody, we have a Xbox Series S for broken HDMI. And you guys can see in there the damage in there on the end right there. So they don't have ports out available just yet, but we do have a 1S HDMI port. It's a little bit shorter, but we'll do the trick, and we're going to show you how we do that. Alrighty. And we're going to start out with our quick heat gun at 500 celsius and 120 airflow let's see what we like to use this seems to work the best for us here okay, techies check out our new website techies.store the solder is a little bit tough so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a little flux in there and i'm going to add a little bit of the leaded solder in there make this come apart a little bit quicker and a little bit easier so i'm going to take a little bit of leaded solder i find it'll it will come apart a lot easier a lot of people are having a tough time getting these out and they want to damage the board heating it so long also a good idea to put in some regular lettuce solder just so it blends in with the solder that's already here already there we go the solder starting to melt in there a little bit my little cap don't rip it off the board, let it come off naturally. Alright, we're just cleaning out the holes right here real quick. I'm putting a little bit of heat on the bottom and down there. And I'm just using my solder sucker. And I'm sucking the solder out. One and done. Alright. And all the pads came off and all came off perfectly. And I just kind of tapped that nicely. And we have... There's the differences right there, so you can definitely see that this one's definitely a little bit shorter, and we got this plastic coming off on the bottom right here. And then we're going to have to modify the posts on here a little bit, trim them down a little bit so they line up in the holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these front ones down a little bit, so that way it sticks forward a little more. And that way these pads line up a little bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a Dremel, and we're going to trim. There we go, look at that. She pops right on. Let's check out the alignment here. Let's see. Let me get this camera to focus here. There we go. A little light on the subject, can you see better? Well, it actually looks like the pins aren't very far aligned. They're, all, they're right there. So I'm just gonna shift it over just a little bit like that. Look at that, perfect. Okay. So now we're do is we're going to solder it in place now and get all those pins soldered down. That's our next step. What we're going to do is we're going to pile a nice little bead down here across these pins on here. You see that? And I got my leaded solder. You can back out a little bit. It's hard to see. It's very tiny. Yeah, it's solder. Yeah, it's solder. So, okay. What we're going to do is he's going to try to zoom in there as best as you can. You may have to zoom in a little bit while I try to do something. Push it down, those pins. Alright, so there we go. Everything's good and solid. Alright, now what I'm going to do, once you got those all soldered in there, you can zoom in a little bit. Zoomed all the way. You guys see in there, so I'm going to go in there now on the microscope. I'm just going to test all the pins and make sure they don't wiggle. That was that was that trace. So far, so good. Solid. Oh, and that's so what I did now is I actually, on the backs of the board, we're going to do the posts. I actually switched my tip to a little bit bigger. Something's got a little more heat. So it station oh beautiful nice can't even tell 
a little, few little tricks there to trade there a little bit. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak and we're gonna clean and we're just gonna double check it. I'm just doing a little pull test on the, a little push test on the pins. Make sure that they're on solid and none are loose. And they are all perfect. So next part we're gonna do is we're gonna throw this bad boy in and we're gonna do some testing on it, okay? So unfortunately you have to modify the HDMI connector on the S because they don't have a port that's deep enough to go in there. So I trim back a little bit. You can see the difference right here on the cable so it can go in a little bit deeper. So now the cord goes flush in the back right there now. And you can see now it's HDMI, it is now working now, it's all set. All right.